This one's uh, on the pilot burner. They're actually a little more complicated than you might think they are. Uh, very simple part of it is the burner is here. This is a shell type burner. It's kind of hard to tell. Well, you can see it there. Uh, and what it does is it heats the thermocouple with part of this uh, flame right there and it lights a burner with this part here. So this flame should be covering about three-eighths of an inch and this unscrews, this, you can unscrew this thing and pull it out. When it's put in there it should be about that kind of height so that this covers at least three-eighths of an inch uh, of the thermocouple when it's burning. But now the pilot flame, which is probably the one I'm talking about here more than anything else, is this is your pilot tube here. There's a small orifice in here, and I'll take this apart so you can see it. And gas flows up here and uh, out that way. But it's a blue flame. And if there was only secondary air, that means air just coming around right here, it would be a yellow flame. But it's not, it's blue. And I'll try to show you why. Now here's the pilot disassembled. Uh, the gas goes right up through that hole there. And that comes out up here. Okay, where these tabs are, there's just a little bit of space there. That actually draws in primary air. So, because there's a negative pressure in there. That's why we end up with a blue flame coming out of here. If you look really close in there, you can see a little kind of a tube in there. Well, the gas is coming up there, and it's drawing that primary air from around here, and then mixes with secondary air there. So it's a little more complicated than it seems. Now, one other thing about these pilots, this is the pilot orifice. See, this is a tubing that fits onto the pilot assembly. And this piece here has a very, very small hole in it. It's really hard to see. So the pressure comes up like this, and when it reaches here, it's restricted. I think I've got a video about using these without a, uh, an orifice on there, and I'll show you that one here, or I'll reference it. But this small hole maintains a pressure in the tubing so that you've got your pressure, which is the three and a half inches or whatever the manual says it should have, of water column pressure. And this restricts the flow, so it does kind of spray out of there, and it draws in the primary air that I was just showing you. That's pretty much how that pilot works. It's a little more complicated than you'd think. You'd think it's just a little doohickey that sits in there and gas comes out of it. It has a primary air addition, and the secondary air comes around here. That's pretty much it on the pilot. You know, I know they're, they're not real popular anymore, but you still see them out there. Biggest problem with these things is this, this thing gets dirty in here, gets a bug in it or something like that, and it'll make it into a candle flame. It looks like a candle flame. It's not working. That's it on that one.